Welcome back, everyone. Jay Vaughn here for Smash This Podcast. Coming at you with a WrestlingWithWrestling.com exclusive on some big Lucha Underground departures. Uh, a couple days ago, uh, look, <laughs> I tried to catch it last minute, but yeah, this one I just just barely missed. Um, a couple days ago, uh, and Helico reported on Twitter. He tweeted out, he said, I would like to announce that I have decided to part ways with Lucha Underground. I would also like to say thank you to everyone at the company for the pleasure of the last three seasons. Now it's time to take another leap of faith. Hmm. wonder what that means. But before we get into that, um, shortly later, Helico was retweeted by Jack Evans and he said I have also parted ways with Lucha Underground um, it goes on down in the comments it says the main reason was uh, because of the contract and then it looks like he got into uh, some kind of argument with Ivelisse um, don't understand all the verbiage here but anyways um, and further further down says um, he goes yeah I'm sorry I was actually finished before the last taping even happened so uh, it sounds like he graciously came back and um, finished whatever storylines they had for him excuse me for season 4 and it, it doesn't sound like Angelico was in season four at all. But I, I'm not. That's neither, you know, here nor there. I don't know. I, I do not know for sure. We're gonna have to wait and see. But from what I can tell, he's not. Um. So, um. I mean, Jack's been all over the place. He's been in Arrow Lucha lately. He had some crazy shows over, you know, WrestleCon or WrestleMania weekend. Was even part of the um, Lucha Underground versus Impact Wrestling. So, so who knows? You know, uh, the the Young Bucks even uh, chimed in, and. Um, <laughs> and tagged Ring of Honor in it. So it looks like they're going to even try to get Jack Evans back to Ring of Honor. Yeah, who, who knows what's up for these guys. Um, super talented, you know, certainly high-fly legends. Um, so I want to know what you guys have to say about this as well. Put it in the comments below. Where do you guys want to see... Jack show up next. I mean, he's been all over the place, and Helico's been overseas a lot in Europe doing things, uh, like winning cups, it looks like. I looked at his social media. He's pretty quiet, though. Uh, he doesn't put himself out there a whole lot as far as self-promotion. But, um, so yeah, put it in the comments below. Where do you think this next leap of faith is going to be for and Helico? You think he's going to make a jump to Ring of Honor? Do you think he's going to jump in um, to a crossover with Impact uh, for the, you know, like uh, he, he and Jack used to be in AAA um, and one thing I did, found out before I did this is uh, for a while and Helico, actually for a few years it looked like, and Helico was with AAA. I haven't seen a lot of his stuff down at AAA, um, but it looked like at the end of last year, he reported that he was no longer with AAA. And people come and go from, um, you know, companies all the time for this reason, that reason, and sometimes they go back. So, you know, is this leap of faith meaning he's going to go back to AAA and become part of the whole Lucha under, or, you know, AAA versus uh, Impact thing? Or is he 
Ring of Honor, maybe New Japan. He's also been on WWE's radar as well. Maybe for the Cruiserweight division? I don't know. Um, hard to say. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. Um, you know, Where do you want to see these two great high flyers go to in the future? And, uh, well, we'll just have to cross our fingers and, and just wait and see what the future holds. The rest of this year, I can tell you, like I've said before, with people going all over the place, it's going to be nuts. So, uh, thanks for watching. And uh, we'll see you down the road real soon. And tune in to WrestlingWithWrestling.com for all your wrestling news.